Good morning, everyone. Tess, 36 months of subbing. Inkwell months of Inkwell Monster, 30 months of subbing. The boop, 21 months of subbing. Hope y'all are doing well. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. How are we doing today? You ever just like rip off a huge burp and then look down to make sure your microphone wasn't uh, wasn't turned on? <laughs> that was my move this morning, chat, like 30 seconds ago. Major Bedlam, three months of subbing. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Whew, it's a good morning. I am still not recovered from the Orlando Pen Show. Whew, I am tired, chat, but that's also some of my doing. Impressive angle on the hair. That means it's time for a haircut. <laughs> it just goes whoosh. We have some some lilting going, or maybe just the waves about to break over here. I guess I should do it this way. The waves about to break. We're about to catch. We're about to catch a barrel in there. JD Lady forty nine months of summer. Let's go. 49, 49, Almost the big five zero. Almost as uh, many months as I am old. Chat. Scary. Scary. Scary as an elder. The that I'm here on the Twitch cutting up. Cutting up. Still recovering from San Francisco. Yeah, I hear that. Yeah, so like that was a that was a pretty quick turnaround. Still, still recovering. Brad, did you have to run a U-Haul to get your loot back from Orlando? It was ridiculous. Like there was <sighs> Orlando chat. <laughs> it was good. It was good. Welcome home. Thank you, Slumberland Studio. Yeah, I have too much stuff. I have like the biggest box ever that I that I. Uh, that I brought home. Stubbs with the continued sub. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. You're amazing. Appreciate that. Uh, less loot than San Francisco. I mean, in tonnage, yes. But <laughs> a lot of stuff. Uh, oh, I've met Rich before. I have met him in Atlanta. Reed Wizzles, 38 months of subbing. Yeah, I just had a lot of uh, I had a lot of paper goods from San Francisco, so there was a lot. I thought you weren't buying anything. I never said that. I mean, I might have joked that we'll see how it goes, but uh, yeah, we bought things like psh, never not gonna buy anything. That is not in my vocabulary. I'll win. It was great to meet you. So cool, so cool. Such a good show. When you have to measure your pen show haul by the ton, that was San Francisco, really, because it was paper goods. Um, I ended up with more pins for myself at this show than I anticipated. That's for sure. Um, you know, I got some. I got some stuff. I'm. I'm looking down. There's all my stuffs right here. We'll go through it in just a second. <clears throat> I ended up with one, two. I ended up with like four pins for myself, plus a bottle of ink, and then I have some other pins and stuff that are review stuff and giveaway. So yeah, I mean, it was a. It was an expensive trip for sure. Uh, I, oh, hey, Toby. Hi, you gonna join us today? I mean, just me and Toby today, chat. Um, I didn't think he was gonna come in here because I just got his blanket out of the dryer from washing it this morning, and he usually just likes to have some alone time with a freshly washed blanket, but he came to join us, so. I really did have fun. It was a fun show. It was a good show. Small show, but like, really well done. Good, uh, good crowd, good vendors, uh, good attendance. Yeah, I would think the show promoters would be happy with the attendance just for a Friday and Saturday show. Um, the only really like slow time on the floor was like noticeably slow was like late Friday, like after 3 p.m. Friday, it got quiet. But other than that, it was really good. Sayoli san. Hello, hello. Thank you for everything. I appreciate you. Pens, pencils plus 26 months in a row. Let's go. Let's go. Not you. I don't mean let's go. Like, outside or something and the interstate traffic was so light on the way home i was amazed yeah for real like i did not have a problem getting in or getting out so el blum mecon 12 months in a row hello hello i email i emailed i mailed everything everyone's uh, stuff from last week's winners we'll have definitely more winners today so there was a great vibe with the crowd and vendors. Had so much fun in Orlando. Absolutely. Absolutely. Jackie with 34 months of subbing. Good morning. How are you? How are you? Good morning, Power Belly. 
Yeah, it was just like a legit good vibe. You know, Raleigh, Atlanta, Pinchot vibe, Philadelphia, like that size, that realm of show. Like Atlanta's a little bit bigger. It's probably about the same size as Raleigh and Philadelphia, if anyone has been to those shows. <clears throat> so, yeah, it was it was really, really good. Good crowd, good promoter. They did everything right. Um, went smoothly. Um, no, no issues, no drama. Good location. A lot of the vendors really enjoyed the location. It was easy to get to from the airport and had everything accessible from the hotel. Like the hotel was well priced. The food was um, right there. The Dormouse desk. We're going to be talking about the Dormouse desk here in a minute, who I got to meet at the uh, Orlando Pen Show. I was told on the way out next year that they have the they will have the big room. Yes, um, Joe Cortner, the show promoter, uh, did say that they're going to move rooms to the bigger room. I have never seen so many giveaway prizes of such high consistent quality that they did at the Orlando Pin Show. It blew my mind, Slumberland Studio, which was a way to get people to hang out at the show, right? Because you had to be present to win, and they were spreading them out through the, out the day. And there was like Pilot Ishime pins and Esther Brooks and all Visconti's uh, and so many people not there to win them. It was a joke Saturday, like the 4 p.m. giveaway on Saturday um, took 15 minutes, 20 minutes to find a winner. Uh, it was crazy. 30 months of sub in OSU, amazing stuff. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Yeah, so it was like a running joke. Um, that last giveaway was was a little rough, but it was a, it was like a, some nice pens. There was an Estherbrook. One gal won two. Yeah, there were a few people that won. I know uh, a different person won three, I think, between, but they were there Friday and all day Friday and all day Saturday. And you could like, uh, like enter to win like different things. Like it, it was cool. It was, it was fun. Like, I don't even like, I don't have a, I don't have a poor word to say. Like there was no like, hey, come up with a list of negatives as like, I got nothing. It was good. It was a good time. It was a good time. It was right size. Definitely only two days, right? I think three days would be a little too much, right? It's not big enough to, to handle three days, even though you want to get those locals in to Friday, Saturday. Just, I, I think that's good. Um, so I, I definitely think that's like kind of the right move, the right feel. I don't know, maybe the Dormouse desk who had a table there might have a, have a different thought on that, but, uh, No bod, one no pins. So, oh, the only negative is the elevator at that hotel was slow, <laughs> was the slowest elevator ever. Luckily, I was only one floor above the, uh, the show floor, so I just used the stairs. I just went down the hallway to the stairs up and down. That's my main negative takeaway is the elevator sucked. For a big hotel with a lot of people. Jay, I won last night. So Jay was hanging out last night. I left him to go play pickleball. I have a money ball league on um, uh, Monday nights that I play in. And eight player, two different eight player groups. I won my eight player group. I'm tired though. I am tired. It was hot and it was a lot of matches. So thank you, Jay, for asking. Have you heard about pickleball? Just kidding. Uh, yeah, like literally that was, it was, uh, how long until fantasy pickleball is a thing? There's a website I follow that do, does their own little fantasy thing. I went just excited to have a pin show only an hour away now. That was one of the biggest, so the biggest, um, kind of recurring themes were, it was convenient to travel to, not just for locals or from the area to get to, as far as like attendees, the, um, the vendors had an easy time getting to it, even if they lived further away. Um, a lot of people mix it in seeing family or taking an extra day or two to do Orlando, you know, whether it be Universal, Disney, everything else around there. So it ended up being part of a lot of other things for a lot of people. Um, Central Florida showed out, like for sure. Um, you know, lots of Tampa, even further south, lots of Miami people, lots of Tampa people, lots of, you know, 
surrounding Orlando, you know, Jacksonville, Gainesville, that whole area. Like they came, they they showed up, like which was which is what you really need for a show like this. Um, and um, yeah, like and everyone was was just super positive, super positive. Really, the, like the attendees that I talked to um, were always just thankful for this show being there right even if they had even if it was an hour or two drive they're like ah this is good this is like this is great i'm super excited to be here tina tree what's up glad you're here <clears throat> so yeah the um just like not a bad word to say like genuinely it was great um it was it was it was fun like this is what you want for like your regional slash community pen show, right? San Francisco and DC are a different classification of pen show, right? Those are large national, practically international shows, right? Those are those are your those are your big mega events. Unfortunately, they're like this close together. Naper villain with the five gifted subs. Let's go. Thank you so much, Naper villain. Enjoy your new emotes. We got new emotes, chat. If you haven't seen all the emotes and you're a member, go down, check out the emotes. Naper Villain, give, throw, throw Naper Villain an emote if you got a, a gifted sub. I really, really appreciate that, Naper Villain. That is amazingly cool. Thank you so much. We got the spinny chair emote now. How cool is that? We have animated emotes. We have a spinny chair emote. We have a writing emote. Um, yeah, so re Rizzles brings up a point. Most of our pin shows are regional, like community slash regional shows. These are the ones I want to see succeed the most because San Francisco and DC are already successful, right? They're already successful. They are internationally known shows. What this community is built on are these smaller local regional shows. Maybe someone will will travel to it, maybe not. But it brings the people that are within like two to four hours away will attend, come and attend and support these shows. And it's great to see, but you need a show promoter and a promotion team to do something like Orlando. And they did a really good job. Peck of Purple Plumes with the gifted sub. Thank you so much. Color Maker, enjoy your gifted sub. You got some cool emotes to play around with now. Rich Sticks, thanks for the bits. Do you have any other pin shows on the calendar this year? I do not, and I don't know that I could take it or my wallet could take it. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a very, uh, very intense period <laughs> for the bank account <laughs> over the past month. So, uh, yeah, like I, I don't need to be in Dallas. I would hope that Philly would be like my next show. Um, we'll see. I think people forget that San Francisco started out as a regional show. Absolutely. It's only been like five years that San Francisco has had like this status. Like they've really built and grown it. So, yeah. Yeah, after ordering the Bungu Box 823, I don't know if I can afford the Dallas Pin Show. I did that too. Like, I am just knee deep. Plotter, did you in? So my uh, my Mini 5, I used my Mini 5 as my wallet the whole show weekend, and it did great. So I got the Bungu Box 823. Yeah. So I, I actually carried uh, my license, a credit card, and cash in the little wallet. Um, I had, you know, several notes that I took. I'm not going to show you the notes. Um, several of y'all got the 823. Nice. Try dropping in, but work internet's atrocious. All right. See you, Blaine. Have a good one. I got, um, did you use the lily put with it? I did. I did. So I finally got it working. It took me a minute to get it working. It worked out well. I, it's definitely a good fit. Got the 823 broad nib. Nice. Dormouse desk with a gifted sub. Thank you so much. While the Dormouse desk is gifting subs, let's go ahead and uh, get this Orlando show uh, swag sorted out because I have a giveaway that I, I bought some a bunch of stuff from Dormouse Desk that I thought would be a perfect um, a perfect uh, giveaway item to get things going. So one of the things I use this for that was very handy is being the incompetent fool that I am. <laughs> I forgot the remaining uh, uh, proud pen attic buttons at home. It's just one of those things I forgot when I was packing. Brian Petriello, 15 months of subbing. Thank you so much. Hope you're doing awesome. So the people that came up to me asking for them, I get them to write their address 
in my little handy dandy book. And yesterday, I took over, took my little book, got their addresses, mailed off, mailed off their buttons. So there you go. My titanium tech to turn mini is so great now with my mini five. The metal uh, matches so well with the trim. Yeah, so I got the the Bigfoot as well too, and that kind of fits in there. So I'm gonna play around with that some more. I do like the um, I do like having like a retractable pen for just like quick deployment here because when I'm handing this over for someone to write something in it, I have to undo the lily put, unscrew it, screw the cap back on because no one can use a lily put without the cap on it. So it was great. It, was, it, it worked out really well. So and it worked out well as my as my wallet. I only threw like credit cards on the floor like once when I opened it up and it just like flung. <laughs> so I gotta figure that out. I still need a band here, but it only when I did it when I opened it like this. If I didn't have it right, um, this pocket is essential, but like it's not super tight, which is good. So you can kind of pack it. But uh, I did throw <laughs> my cards out there. I can use I can use an unposted lily put. I just don't want to use an unposted lily put. Need to jam in more credit cards? No. That means I need to open more credit cards, and that ain't happening. <clears throat> wow, we had a level four hype train. Let's go. Wow, I wasn't even paying attention. Y'all are awesome. Look at all those emotes. Look at that one. Hype ears. That's a fun one. Look at that dodge. All right, so I got to meet the Dormouse desk, and I picked up some cool things from the Dormouse Desk and from uh, the Dormouse Desk's partner. So let's do a giveaway. I'm gonna do a show and tell first and then we'll give away, I'll show you what we're gonna give away in a second. Um, do I have everything on here? Yep. Oh, I love the new emotes chat. The new emotes came out so good. Sleepy did just a good, good job with these emotes. Really fun. New ink bottles, new spans. So, one of the things uh, the Dormouse desk had at the show was the set of postcards where the art was done with uh, fountain pen inks. <laughs> the spinning chair came out great. Um, so, Dormouse desk, if you don't mind, if you have it available, um, can you link your Etsy shop uh, to the chat, please? I don't have the keyboard reach to do it. And uh, if you have it handy or available. So this is so there's they're different on the outside, right? There's five cards, and I'm going to show you what they did. So I'm going to open up one of these. And it's all the same set, just with like a different cover. The cool thing, right? So they're designed to be postcards. They're um, fountain pen friendly cards. And then every ink used is listed here. So we have Graf von Faber Castell Stone Gray, right? So that's the artwork on here. Then we have uh, Diamine Monbato's hat, right? So that. Then we have Colorverse Rising Reflections here. Can someone grab the Dormouse Desk's uh, link off Etsy if you don't mind? And then we have uh, Graphon Faber Castell Burned Orange. Thank you, Dormouse Desk. And then Robert Oster Thunderstorm. So each pack here is the same. They're just in a different order. Right? Aren't these great? So it's a set of five cards. Fountain pen friendly paper. Um, this might have been my first purchase at the show. Once I ran into Dormouse Desk and saw what they were doing, I was like, yeah, I'm in. All right. So what we're going to do here, well, we're not done. We're not done. We're definitely going to give away a pack of these. We're, we're going to combine it with something else I'll show you in just a second. Something I just picked up for me. Um, put those stickers in here as well. Something I picked up for me that we'll test out later at another date. Um Dormouse Desk has these ink file labels. So these labels are removable. Hang on. Let's see. Coco Lena, 22 months. Hype. So these labels are designed to um, not smear with your fountain pen inks. You can write with your, 
your inked pens on here on these labels and you can remove them and replace them from the standard plastic ink files as you wish like Dormouse Dust was um, testing these out for me there. She had a whole sheet of how the ink worked on here and then was just taking them uh, on and off on and off the vials just like constantly. So I picked this up for me to play with later. So <clears throat> um, those are cool. Those are for me. So we'll just have this. Yeah, this was super smart. Um, their sheet, their uh, test sheet was like really, really cool. I was like, man, this really works. So it was good stuff. So um, and you have your like your your cap top swab swab dots here and then the names and again like you said when you're done with a vial and you have a name you can actually remove the label and reuse it and you know it's, it makes it easy for that so that's something for me to play with <clears throat> dormouse desk uh, mentioned her husband we got um he is um designs uh playing cards right or he's uh, like an art director for like playing cards so i don't want to open these up and um but it's essentially well i will no i'm not gonna open it up yet so competition deck back oh screw it i'm opening it up you gotta see these because they're pretty cool my my description's not gonna um do it any justice <laughs> right you gotta open them up right because uh, like the interior so two things one um, he designed the box to be like a notebook, so it opens from the side as opposed to like a normal card deck, right? So it's like a notebook opening. You get the cards. They obviously have the marbled. Yeah, got to open it, right? Got to have the marbled, the marbled back, right? But um, the insides are hand drawn on lined paper. And each, so like the, each um, suit, like the hearts, the hearts are hand drawn individually, right? So the, the heart on like the ace of hearts is actually a different design than the two of hearts. And they're all, they're not repeated patterns, right? They're not a replicated pattern, right? So they're all hand drawn individually for the card, right? So they're all unique. So yeah, yeah, I missed out on the um, the bioluminescent cards. There were some cool glowing cards on there. So it's really cool, really good concept. And uh, yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna give away this set of cards and a set of postcards to one winner here. So we'll call this the Dormouse Kit. So I'm gonna set this aside as we go through stuff. So, we're going to give this away. So, it's a set of five postcards and a composition deck here. I don't know how many giveaways we're going to do today, chat. I know we're going to at least do one more, and then I'm going to get into some pen stuff later. <clears throat> Let's see here. All right, let me do giveaway. All right. So there we go. Exclamation point raffle. And you'll win this set of stuff. If I win, you don't have to ship it. Good call. Good call. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just looking around at what we'll do. Uh, we'll do a pin or two next. Then we'll do another giveaway item uh, in just a minute. But uh, it was great meeting you, Dormouse Desk. I'm so glad I got to meet you here on Twitch and I uh, got to meet you in person. It was great. I hope you all had a great show for sure. Oh, is Evan here? Yeah, there's Evan. Evan, look, I got it. I'll show you all what this is later. It's an interesting design. What? Pray tell, could it be? 
Dear bot, their cards want to live with the brother deck. <laughs> Yay, glad it was awesome. <laughs> that was kind of questionable when I showed it up. The IG live was fun. That was hard to do. Like I'm not I'm not like pro at doing that. How on how to hold it and how to talk and figure out what to do and not run people over and <laughs> not cause trouble. So I have a lot to show and tell today. We'll see if we can get through it all. I don't have any like huge rush, probably like two hours or so today, maybe. Yeah, Glyph, I should get, um, I should get one of the handheld um, like gyroscopic things so I can walk, walk and talk a little bit better instead of just like holding my phone. That dark brown Lamy Studio came out really, really nice. Yeah, the live is fun because you just kind of wing it, right? Like you just kind of wing it. I actually want to go back and watch it because I don't remember any of it except in the beginning where it like cut out. So, whoa, entry stopped already. Entry stopped already. All right, let's give this away and then we're going to keep going. Were you wearing earbuds? No. All right. Pick a winner. Liber Estet. Congratulations. You won the cards and the deck. Congratulations, not first time winner. We had some first time winners. Oh, wow. Yay, you're super excited. Super excited. Not first time winner, right? I wonder if you could use the Ray-Ban glasses that have the camera. That's funny. <laughs> Bork. All right. Which pin won the PAG pin vote thing? So it was one of right turns. It was like the big black pin then had the red and white swirl like stone in the barrel. I don't know if you recall that. We could pull up a picture. Um, that's the one that won. Nothing that we voted, for, nothing that I voted for or y'all voted for. <laughs> that's the one uh, I won. I won. So uh, yeah, I voted for number four and then chat voted for like number two. Got your package yesterday? Nice. Second time. Okay, good. So email me, hello at pinac.com. Do me a favor. I forget to tell this. I need to add this in the command. Tell me what you won. Um, when, I, when I had like five days from last week's stuff to this week's, the little stickers get moved off as I, sh as I uh, shift things around. And I was like, oh man, who won what out of last week's? Do me a favor and say, hey, I won the Dormouse or I won the, the postcards or the card decks. Anything, anything. And then I will, uh, I will do my job and try to update the command. <clears throat> That's fun. That's a good one. <laughs> I can't even update the most important command being the shout out command. Uh, I can't even update that one. Yay. Yay, Rup. All right. So where can we put this? All right. <clears throat> Let's. All right. I'll show you a pen that I bought that was. Um really random this is what happens when you spend a lot of time at a pen show and a lot of time looking and browsing and don't really have any plan don't really want to leave thank you for the file facts tip nice yeah like it's something i do i do i so um this one's a little bit of Greg's fault. So Greg T863 here in the chat. We had been around each other like for the entire show. And there was this one vendor. It was like a personal collection type of, of table. And you won the Nakaya. Settle down there, Tess. Um, and Greg was like, hey, did you see that Visconti Wall Street at... at this table and I was like yeah that's really nice like that's not my pen but like Greg was like liking it because like it's a little bit bigger pen and this table I had stopped by there several times I know I know I had stopped by there several times because they had some really kind of personal collection new old stock type of stuff or lightly used 
stuff from the past, like say like 20 years worth of stuff, right? It wasn't necessarily, it wasn't vintage stuff, but it was like not current modern stuff, right? Oh, the Wall Street's beautiful. And they, they kept bringing things out on the table as the weekend would go. They had a bunch of stuff under the table, but like had a full table. Yeah, you indirectly penabled me. So I'd been by this table. They had an Aurora Optima that was like $350. It was just a great deal, but it was like not my color. It looked great, but it wasn't for me. The Wall Streets were a great price, just not for me. So I came back and we were looking at this Wall Street and then something else hopped up on the had hopped up on the table since Friday and Saturday. This little box. Miss G's Crafties got to hang out with Miss G's Crafties at Orlando. What's up? So there's this um, little thing here on the table. And I saw it and it's you'll see why it stood out it stood out uh, on the table very, very much for me. Um, so this is this is what it is. So this was just sitting there like this in the box on the table is actually more like this up on this little box here. And I was like, I picked it up. I was like, huh, what is happening here? It's like, what, what, what do we have here? And, you know, picked it up, you know, took a look at it. It's beautiful, right? It's pink, right? So it's, it's, it's small and it's pink. So it obviously like stood out to me. Like this is like right up my alley. Then I picked it up and I was like looking at it closer. I was like, oh, this is sterling silver. So not only is it this beautiful pink acrylic, all the hardware is sterling silver. So, you know, it's bigger than like a sport or something like that. Um, full post full size here. The only thing is the uh, the posting is a little bit a little bit out of alignment, but that's okay. It is faceted. Um, and there was no there was no price on it. Oh, fourteen karat gold nib, right? Fourteen gold nib, whatever it is. I can't see that. I can't see it at this point. Seven fifty. What is 750? So, whatever that is. <sighs> yeah. So, like the silver and the pink and the two tone gold nib, 18K nib. Thank you. Um, yeah. Silver, finial. Like, this is one of those things at a show you don't go into a show saying, hey, I'm looking for this pen and I'm going to buy it. This is one of those things you dumb luck into at a show. And uh, I asked the price, and it was a good price, and I came home with it. So um, it was $250. So it was expensive, but not too expensive for what it was for a silver hardware gold nib pen that was really neat and fun and unique. That's a good price. Like, I feel correct in that price. And I was like, yes, I will have this, please. Yes, I will have this, please. So, <clears throat> Murdoch, thank you for the seven months of subbing. Thank you so much. Whoa, what just happened? Sorry, I was hitting too many buttons at too much time. So, yeah, who made it? It's a Montegrappa. So, it's a Montegrappa. The model name is the Mikara. No, the Mikra. Mikra. I didn't try to talk them down to 225. Nah, that's not my move, generally. That's generally not my move. So what I did was I did end up um, I did end up getting Kirk Spear since he was there and I had time Saturday afternoon and he had time to just uh, stub nib it. So yeah. Yeah, well, with the name on this one, you didn't really have to pay for the name with the silver and gold materials being used. So it's still, uh, I haven't cleaned it yet from, so this is remnants from uh, pen cleaning, but it's going to be great. I, I really look forward to using this pen. It's a fun pen. Definitely something that is right up my alley. It does post, so it's threaded on the back here. 
So you have threads, so we just screw it in there. Boom. There we go. So full-sized writer. Is that acrylic or something else? Uh, it feels like an acrylic. Yeah, it's got to be acrylic. What ink are you going to use? That's a good question. I hadn't thought about that. I have not thought about that. Yeah, it's really neat, right? Like, I haven't seen this. And this is one of those things, like, you know, if you're going to your first pen show, you're not really looking for something like this. But, like, after I've been around for a while, um, you know, you notice things that kind of fit your style and aesthetic. Then you learn about them a little bit more. Then you kind of do a little bit of research and decide that, hey, that's a good that's a good pen for me at a good price. And you end up coming home with it. Do you use an ultrasonic cleaner to clean your pens? Very rarely. I own an ultrasonic cleaner. Um but I did not, um, I don't generally use one. Yeah, and it looks like, I don't think it's ever been used, right? I think it was, it, it doesn't seem like it's ever been used. Um, let me see here. Did it even have a converter in it? No. So I think it'll take a full-size converter. I don't have one. I didn't double, I didn't double check that, but it, it almost doesn't matter to me. So. so yeah, I don't know if I'll use like a dark pink. For this or a purple or a blue or I'm, I'm pretty open on the colors for for this so yeah we got to clean it first but good job by me I'm not gonna lie high five for me all right so there you go Jen makes shapes 19 months of subbing holy moly let's go thank you so much for the sub so many of that couple's pins had never been inked it was they said so we only, I only met um, the wife and she said there was so much more stuff <laughs> and that they're gonna try to do a website and it was like it was just stuff like this like in boxes there this is the plate like the Optima was like Greg almost bought that Optima or at least looked at it it's like three hundred fifty dollars and like for an Optima that had never been used it had the original box it had the ink it shipped with they had a bunch of stuff like this so. One for me. <clears throat> um, all right, let's talk about this real quick. Does that make 106? So yesterday, what's today, Tuesday? Yeah, yesterday I removed 16 pins out of here just in a first pass. So yeah, we gotta we gotta start working on that next. That's the next move here. All right, so this is that price. I'm going to be looking out for that website, right? So, yeah, we got to make some room. We got to make some room. All right, these pens are not mine. They are raffle pens. I can pull that up or y'all enjoy me scroll on the screen here. I'm like a gamer, except not gaming, who has like a mouse and keyboard cam. This is lame. Lame, lame. All right, that took too long. All right. I picked up the Tesori raffle pins. So these are the, the packet. Oops, I'll show you this in a second. I'm going to get back to the screen here. So... Yeah, I finally just inked up my Skogsy pen from San Francisco. That's how long it's been. I literally just inked that up before we got on today. So, these next two pens are part of the St. Jude raffle that we have going on in the pen attic. It's these two pens you see here at the top. I picked them up um, because I need to update the pictures because we got the nibs done for them. We're always planning on doing nibs for these. And between uh, Jim Heinz, who plated the nibs, and John Tello, who put the logo on the nibs. Um, I'll show you what we got here. Thank you, Miss Cookie. Heinz pins are phenomenal. That's the one I came home with. We'll do that one next. So... I, the pins are in hand. So this is the, the two-sided Millie Fiori 
uh, warm primary primary manipulation ink window and then each of them has a unique nib so this is kind of a, a Heinz plated matching orange nib with the Panatic logo on them broad right so we're gonna put this on we'll update these pictures I'll, I'll put these on Instagram or something like that so you have this one here and then we have the other one yeah, it came out really nice, didn't it? So I appreciate John Tello doing all of this. So this is the Omos acrylic, which it's hard to see the, the striations, like the, the color material here, and then the glass cap um, with a green, like the matching green nib here, right? So we have the plated nib, Panatic logo there. So it's very cool how he matches everything. All the little details are just really, really cool. How everything is kind of tied in together, right? So such a good job. Really, really appreciate John doing this and uh, collaborating with Heinz, making the nibs, getting the etching done. So yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, these are the two pins that are actually in the raffle. I picked them up at the show this weekend because we were waiting on the nibs. So he didn't want to ship them to me until I could get the nibs. And then Heinz dropped off the nibs at the show uh, this week. So pretty cool, huh? Really, really love. Beautiful pin, but it looks like a carrot. Definitely looks like a carrot. I like it. It's a very carroty pin. Carrots are popular in pendum. <laughs> All right. So there you go. Couple of Tello pins, Tesori pins from Hello Tello Studios. Really cool. And then the um, the handmade sleeves, the little kimonos for these pins. So all of this goes together like so. Yeah, so these will be part of the giveaway. All right. And then this is all like the uh, the pack-in material that I had to pick up. Um, whoa, Panatic Limited Edition pin one of one. These are the warranty cards. All right, so let me let me not lose these real quick. Hang on, chat. We got a sneeze. Apparently, I need a sneeze emote. Thank you. Woo. Mr. Tello is super nice. He does great work. It's great. Uh, great part of the community does great uh, charity support work uh, pardon me yeah so yeah that was some big sneezes nah didn't get the vid i feel good like i've been i'm just tired i am a sneezy one <clears throat> all right so that can go there all right <clears throat> next up <clears throat> let me get here so, let me prepare here, getting things, getting things set. All right, one of the cool things about the Orlando show is there were a ton of makers there, and a lot of artists, small business owners, I like the Dormouse desk and, you know, pen makers like Tesori, Hello Tello Studios. Were we supposed to email you the receipt of our donation? You need to go read the explicit directions in the raffle. <laughs> that is the best thing I can tell you. Follow the link. <clears throat> I'll post that link back here. There are very specific directions you need to follow to be counted in the raffle. So you're going to want to... Uh, do that 
if you want this, which let me pull up more links here as we go on the fly. <clears throat> Sorry, I got too many things I want to pull up for y'all here. <clears throat> Yeah, I should make it a command. I will do that because we're adding some of Abadell Acosta's art to the giveaway, not to the giveaway, to the raffle, to the St. Jude raffle. So I met an artist there, Abadell Acosta, who makes wonderful fountain pen art. This was used for the Enderillium inks. This is the artist proof. I don't know if you can see that. This is the AP for the Andorillium Inc. artwork that they did for promotion for that. He gave this to me uh, to give away, and I'm going to use it for the raffle for St. Jude. <clears throat> so Andorillium had this at their table. Abadell has prints of this. Um, <clears throat> so you can check out, go follow him on Instagram. I'll put the link in there. Here it is again. Go give him a follow. I would appreciate it if you did. And you can see, let's see. You can see all of his artwork. Here's actually a picture of it. So yeah, there's that. <clears throat> um, and let's see if we can do a closer upper here. So yeah. So this was made, I don't have, actually, I'll, I'll email them and get the inks this was made with um, for his artwork. But there's a lot of fountain pen ink uh, that he uses for, for these. So yeah, how cool is that? And I, I bought myself a piece there too, so I'm going to figure out how to do this. This is a piece I bought for me. Um, it's this turtle on this like old alphabet page. So this is one I bought for myself. So I'll put this out in the in the shipping department or something like that. So this one's mine out of his prints. I thought that was pretty neat. <clears throat> sea turtle on the alphabet page. It's really neat, right? It's very, very cool. It's a dope turtle, all right? Also, what I'm going to give to y'all, <clears throat> are... these hand painted and hand finished pen rests. So I picked up a couple here that he made for the show. So let me show you what I got. <clears throat> so go give Abadell a follow. And I picked up two of these. I'll let y'all pick, I'll let the, we'll do a giveaway. I'll let the winner pick which one they want. Oh, I'm not showing y'all. All right. So we have this fishy here. I need to save this. And this seahorse here. So they're pin rests. So you, know, you can set your pin there, set your pin there, however you want to do it. Sorry, I needed your email. <laughs> Yeah, so there you go. So I let's uh, let's do a giveaway for one of these. You can pick whichever one you like. All right, and then the octopus is going to go in the raffle. <clears throat> Abadell shows up in stream every now and then. He told me, so we'll have to see. 
Yeah, they're really cool, really cool. All right, reset here. So this is Abadel Acosta pin rest. All right, this giveaway is open. Octopus print is the original artist proof. So this is an artist proof. So it's an original. It's not a print. Or maybe it's a print of the proof. Maybe it's an artist. Yeah, it must be a print. The artist proof print. Correct. Not the original original. Right. Sorry. I may have missaid. So artist proof print. So I'll have that in the uh, raffle. Uh, try to, I'll try to get that updated today or tomorrow. I've got more stuff coming in left and right for the raffle, so stay tuned. Actually, we need to put that up today. We need to talk about that real quick. This giveaway is just the pen rest, correct. The uh, print is going into the raffle. His stuff is great. There are some big pieces there, some really, uh, yeah, some really intricate um, hand etch stuff. There's a lot of really, really cool stuff. I hope he had a good show, yeah. I think he's down in Miami, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> he is in Miami, thank you. All right, y'all got about 30 seconds left to enter. What's the pin in the Smand, by the way? So this is the Skogsy Macarta pin that I picked up at the San Francisco Pin Show, and I literally just inked it this morning, as you can tell by the ink on my hands. <clears throat> so I've been anxious to get this inked up, but I just haven't had time until literally today. Because I have a, a, a JC at the Nib Tailor did a medium architect on here that I really, really liked, and that's what's in this pin. So I put in a kind of a lightish blue black and andorillium ink as a matter of fact. Um, what's it called? I can check all that later. I I really wanted a blue ink for this pen, but not something dark. So indigo bunting blue is what I inked it up with. So <clears throat> I can show you all that a little bit later. We'll see how streams going. <clears throat> Thank you, Mekon. I really, really appreciate that. Make sure you send me your receipt. Follow the details on the post. And you can maybe uh, be uh, a winner of one of these awesome things. All right. Let's pick a winner. Then y'all will get to pick which pen rest you would like. All the hobbies. I know them. I'm pretty sure I know them. Have you ever actually won in chat? Have you ever won? Are you a first time winner? Or have you? Yeah, I think you won something a long time ago, right? Yes, no, maybe. Totally rigged, right? Fixed, fixed, completely rigged AF. Wait, what? Have you ever actually, have you won? Super rigged. <laughs> All right, pick a color. I will gladly send you one of these. Maybe they'll end up in a uh, in a review post later. We're gonna put Kimberly on the spot. Recount, recount. <clears throat> well, that's good because I probably have something to ship anyway. Anyway, all right. <clears throat> you want a pocket notebook before? I thought you had one once before. All right. Pick a color or pick a pick a uh, pick a uh, fish. So a fish or a seahorse. So the seahorse has kind of the long um, holder, and then the fish kind of has like the flip over the top. Yeah, I'll show them to you. So they hold the pen a little bit differently. So this is the seahorse, kind of the light green. Glazed all the way around. <clears throat> and then you have the fish. A little sparkly. Tough choice. Really cool, really different, each one. Oops. 
yeah, you need to send me your shipping address. Like, if you're going to enter, you got to follow the rules too. You got to follow the rules. So, yes, you got to email me your shipping address. <laughs> Normally, I go for blue fishy, but that green seahorse is calling my name. Nice. All right. Green seahorse it is. All right. Let me pack these back up. And I'll throw uh, Abadell's card in here so you can see where it came from. Yeah, shipping address and tell me what you won. <laughs> We're rule followers here. All right, let me tape this back together. And then we'll keep going. We got a lot more stuff to go. Yeah, I hope I hope y'all go give uh, Abadell a follow. Re just genuinely nice, really, obviously passionate about what he creates, and just downright cool to hang hang out with. So yeah, please give him a follow. And same with uh, the Dormouse desk. Also, go follow that Etsy shop. All right, so that is Kimberly's, and we're gonna set this aside for now. Good morning, hide it from the wife. All right, let me uh, hang tight. Let me set these aside real quick. <clears throat> Got a bit of a mess situation going on, so let me clean up. I don't think we're gonna get to everything today, chat. But we'll get to a lot. <clears throat> All right. Show you something random I picked up that if y'all know me, y'all will think it's uh, pretty good. Regular pens of the Octopus are 50 on the Etsy, nice. Um, this is funny. The, how do you pick the 16 pins to be gone? I just look and say, haven't used that in a while, see ya. I, I don't overthink it. And I don't even know if that's the number. It's just that you take a first pass and then you see what you got. Put them all together and then yeah, we'll see. Um, Carrie was teasing me from Kenro. You called Jay to come over, right? Um, about this thing that they had to show me. I, you, I have to show you this. So, <laughs> Esther Brooke has made blotting paper. <laughs> that was the most exciting thing for uh, um, Carrie to show me. He thought it was hilarious. It's not just any blotting paper, though. Me cutting up the blotting paper um, for my uh, plotter, Narrow. This is actually what he was excited to show me, is they're making perforated plotter sheets to fit other sized things. So you can buy sheets and have small pocket-sized blotter papers. There's gonna be a one, a, the full size, and then there's gonna be three small ones, and there's gonna be one that's just two, two sheets on there. How cool is that? Like, this is the kind of stuff that like I get into, like I super nerd out about, right? Isn't that cool? Like, I'm totally down with this. So yeah, we have a, a little, Little blotter paper action, but I thought this was funny. Will it fit the J Herbon rocker blotter? I have no idea. <clears throat> so yeah. Very, very cool. Yep. So I was cutting this up the other day to fit in the back here. Um, then he's like, I can't wait to show you something. And he was showing me these. Like I would have just torn, torn one of these off and thrown it in the back of there. So yeah. Very cool. So though I don't know when those are coming out, but they'll be um, they'll be coming out soon. Random card soft. I think it's more of a specific paper, but I don't know what it's called because it's a it's a super absorbent paper, right? So it's not um, it's not even like sketchbook paper. It's it's different from that even. Like I don't even know how to call it. So yeah, 
Then they, uh, they sent me home with a book holder. All they have to do is undercut J. Herbon's outrageous price. To be determined. Yeah, I don't know what they are. Let's have a book holder. This will be good when I'm copying books, right, to hold the page open. When will Plotter restock accessories? Who knows? Like, I don't have a time frame. I need to order some stuff myself, so. So, we've got that. And then, oh, no, that's not it for Mr. Book. So, we've got this. I'm saving the best for last chat. We're, we're going. They're doing a new notebook series, uh, Fountain Pen jur Journal. Uh, Betty Soldi is a lettering artist, I guess is the uh, best description. Her and I got together to uh, like a year or, or two ago. Her and I were judges for like a handwriting uh, contest. Um, and this is a collaboration with her. So Esther, these Esther books, I get it. Esther books are going to be coming soon to you. Um, it's a dot grid notebook on collaboration with Betty. So so this is Betty's Alpha Betty, right? It's very cool. So but it's really it's just a uh, open dot grid journal, right? Dot grid journal, pocket page in the back. Little bookmark, charm bookmark, right? So all that. <clears throat> and then, maybe the most intriguing thing that I got. I am allowed to show y'all, I checked. I got this. Are those stickers? Uh, no. But in the back of the notebook, it was just like in paper, yeah. I got this chat, which is going to require something. That's my pen I bought at the Atlanta Atlanta Pen Show. Uh, so you know how they've been working with various nib grinders for things. This is a pre-release sample here. I don't want to tear this paper here. Let's see. Let's see if I can get this off. Because I don't know if I even have the full description but I was told I was allowed to share it. Um, what this is going to be called for now is the Techo Nib by CY at Tokyo Station. It is a super mini Naganata style nib. So you can see the writing sample here. So we've talked about how the Naganata nib is kind of like a spear tip, right? You can change the angle as you write. Um, this is going to be coming soon. So I have this to play around with. So this is one of the uh, early ones. So prototype, you know, very... Uh, very worked on, very loved nib. So not the final version here. Y'all can't really see it. Let's see if I can get it on this. So this will be coming soon-ish. We'll see if they regret allowing me to show this. So there you go. See how I was talking like it's a spear tip shape, right? Depending on its writing angle dependent. So it's really cool. What's the base nib? Broad. It's on a broad nib. And a little, uh, whoop, I already have a nib in here. It's my needle tip. Anyway, I don't need to ink this up yet anyway. So yeah, so that's the coolest thing. 
That's cool. So we'll have that to play around with. So coming hopefully later this fall. Don't uh, you don't have to go uh, you don't have to go antagonizing them just yet <laughs> for this nib. But you know what? I need to put this nib where I won't lose it. I'll put it right there with my Esther Brooks in the drawer. <clears throat> All right. Sorry, I just like wow, Toby. What are you doing? Um. All right. Oh, here's something cool. Who will be carrying these nibs? Any any Esterbrook uh, retailers? So it's a nib option. Um, like the Journaler, the Needlepoint. What else have they done? Uh, I feel like I'm missing one. The Journaler, the Needle. But anyone who, the scribe, thank you. Uh, boy's gonna drown in nibs soon, right? So anyone who carries, anyone who's an Esterbrook retailer, these nibs are an upgrade option. So there you go. So I'll, I'll be testing that out, sharing sharing my thoughts on Instagram and, and all that stuff. So, so Pen Realm, Kirk Spear and Crystal, I believe. Uh, his wife were at the show. They had a few bottles of Ackermon ink and one I've been wanting to buy. Business in the front, party in the back, baby. So we got Aziza's collaboration with Ackermon. So I've been looking forward to this in that blue-black realm <laughs> and coolest name ever, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Pen and notebook recommendation question. Go to a medical conference. Going to be sitting in a conference room with only chairs, no table, any fountain pen notebook combo would be good for writing in the lap. It is a mullet ink. Uh, if y'all have any recommendations for hide it from the wife, go for it. I would just be looking at any hardcover A5 book. Like, I wouldn't overthink it at all. So we got the mullet ink, chat. I haven't inked this up yet. I haven't even unboxed it yet, so... We'll see. It's a it's kind of a blurple-ish blue black. So we'll test this out later. But you're not really gonna be able to see it here. So and I'm not gonna make a mess, but I look forward to this. That's definitely right up my alley. I thought about putting it in the Skogsy pen, but I wanted a lighter blue. I almost went for like a basic royal blue with this. Um, I don't know what it is about this black and gray looking pen that I wanted uh, either a bright blue or like a traditional school blue, not necessarily a darker blue black. Another blue ink, Shocker. Shocked Pikachu face. The name of the ink is Business in the Front. Literally, that's the name of it. Business in the Front, Party in the Back. That's literally the name of it, Schmevelin. <laughs> you could just call it the Party Ink. You could call it the Gourmet Pens, Blurple. <laughs> So, yeah, there we go. <clears throat> yeah, if you're going to use a sketchbook, hide it from the wife. Those um, They're built well for that. Uh, your fountain pens may not play nice with the texture of the page, right? That's something to think about. So I would look at a different pen. Like the Don't, the Don't Idea Journal with the, super, with the chipboard covers, those are awesome. They're not the most fountain pen friendly, but you could use some uh, fountain pens with it. All right, moving on. Yeah, I'm gonna tease y'all real quick. I bought one of the most ridiculous pens you've ever seen. Well, not the, the pen itself isn't ridiculous, but the packaging is ridiculous. I don't know if I'm gonna get to that today. I think I might just tease y'all for another day because I haven't inked it up and I will be inking it up. <clears throat> Does anyone know what those those plastic rubber ferrules are called in the Tachikawa nib holders? Like where you insert the nib into? <clears throat> ridiculous pens. It's not a ridiculous pen. Well, it's a kind of ridiculous pen in a good way with the most ridiculous packaging. 
I don't know if I'm gonna get to that today. I, I'm an, I'm building this up. I'm totally gonna tease y'all on this. Not this pen. This pen is just awesome. So this is uh, Doreo's pen. Um, Augustus. I totally forgot the the name. Yeah, I think it's Doreo. I gotta get the link. I don't the card somewhere. So this is a really well made pen here. Um, really really cool material. Yeah, so Augustus, he's in Ohio. He's been at the Atlanta Pen Show. Um, so I picked this up. This will be for a, like a later giveaway type of thing, uh, like Pen Attic members. We might do that this month for the Pen Attic giveaway. Um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful material. I had a really hard time figuring out which pen to pick of his. I bought several Maker pens that I haven't bought before. Saw his pens, they're gorgeous. I grabbed a card because if I win the lottery, I'm buying one of his pens. Yeah, they're really nice, aren't they, Nobod? Um, so he's just kind of started like in the past year or two going to pen shows. So he's going to start doing more and more. His fit and finish of pens is exceptional. Like the, the craftsmanship aspect of the pen is really, really great. So let me see if I can find the website real quick. If someone else can find it. Um, but I really love the color. It was impossible for me to pick a color here let me see if i can remember gosh i can't remember Someone can find it for me. I apologize. I didn't pull the card when I was doing this. Thank you, Digital Medievalist. Good grief. It's on Etsy, so I couldn't find it. All right, the rail pens. <clears throat> so, yeah, there you go. So this is, uh, he had about, I almost bought this one. This really cool material. So you can tell by the shape. This is kind of his like go-to shape. Really good stuff. Like I said, the, uh, the fit and finish. I think this is mine. No, it might be. Can't tell. No, that's a little greener. Something like that. But, uh, yeah, these feel great, look great in person, so definitely go check them out. I am really, really happy with this pen, and we'll be doing, like, a giveaway here pretty soon on this. The problem with those pens is just picking one. It took me, like, a, a day to, uh, to pick this out. So, yeah, I, I spent some time Friday looking. Like, you can't even see, like, all the colors in here. I spent some time Friday looking and told him I'm just going to have to come back tomorrow to figure this out. Because I liked all of them. <clears throat> all right. That's that. Where is my River City? Uh, I think I took the River City already to the back. So while we're at it, let's go through this real quick. So this is the raffle for St. Jude. We got this going right now. Go here because I also picked up, what have we added? So we got the Tesoris I picked up. We got the Toyoka Craft. We got the Striped Jellyfish Collection. We got the Stationery Kit. We got the Pin Q and the Manny. And then this pin I picked up at the pen show. This is a River City Bonaire eyedropper in Cosmic Dust. So I set this out, out back for shipping. So this is in the raffle now for St. Jude. It's really cool. So it's a new uh, mini pen shape. Let's see here. That River City does. 
So they're really lots of different materials, lots of different shapes here. So let me put this in the chat. Oops. Yeah, so it's River City, and this one's called the Bonaire. Um, it's really cool. So I got that one to add to the raffle. I bought this one uh, this week. It's really, really neat. Really pretty. Bought your first at Orlando. Great pen. Nice. Yeah, I really, really like them. So it's pocketable and posts into full size. And this has like that matte finish, right? Not really a new shape. He's just doing them again. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So, yeah, this is that matte finish, not the glossy polished finish, which I thought looked awesome on this pen. Like, this is the exact pen that I bought. Or that, yeah, that I have. So, it's really nice. So, we got that in Orlando. And then we also have added to the list the 30th anniversary Retro 51 Tornado that's in there. And so, yeah, these are the two newest things. So the Retro and the River City. And then I'll have some more stuff maybe this afternoon. You had me at small? Yeah, yeah. I really like the smaller size. Um, thread it on the back so you can post it right. So you just post it on the back and you can see the screw threads right there. Doop. Hello, Loud Noises. How are you? <clears throat> so, yeah. This was another one that took me a while to like sort out what I was going to pick up. Post it? Absolutely. <laughs> I totally post this one. If it's got threads, I will post it. So yeah, go check these out. Go check out all the stuff in the raffle. So I... I picked up a lot of pens. We'll have to figure out what we're going to do with all this stuff. <clears throat> some of it's giveaway stuff. Some of it's raffle stuff. Some of it's my stuff. Some of it's in limbo. I don't totally know. So let's go to the next one. Rich also makes nib holders for the Kakamori. Yes, he had them there. They look cool. All right, next. Um, I got my first right turns pens. First right turns pins. So uh, Jason and his daughter were there at the show. And I like the cool little button they have with their pins. So I picked this up. This is a really pretty material. Kind of like a coppery purple. Um, and he makes all the clips and the hardware. And I like that it had the copper finial and the copper clip. And the matches the really, really pretty coppery purple material here so there we go really pretty they had that clips cool isn't it this was one all of his clips designs were just like super neat and unique i was going to pick something up definitely going to pick something up with a clip even though i'm like indifferent whether a pen has a clip or not for my personal use like if you're a maker and you have a lot of clip designs i'm going to pick something up with the clip designs the nib should match. Well, maybe I'll have to pick up a, uh, a coppery nib for that from Heinz. <clears throat> but yeah, it's really neat. Really, really pretty. I just love this material. Again, That I like going and meeting these makers for the first time and checking out like the fit and finish of the pens, like the polish, the shaping, the threads, how the threads work, um, the additional details like hardware, like clips right this is just gonna wear so well as i use it right it's really really cool so again this took me a while to pick out what i was going to use or what i was going to purchase similarly it is copper so you have copper here and then a copper disc up top down with clips give me fun roll stops i hear you what pin is that? It is a right turns pin. I don't think his pins, I think what he was telling me, his pins don't have shape names, right? It's more just like materials and style. I don't know that. I think some of them do have shapes. Like there, he's got one that's coming out soon. 
um, that I might have to buy. He had a prototype of it there that he said he would sell to me. I was like, eh, I'll hold off, but I'm gonna, I, I don't want to speak on it yet because I don't know that it exists. Um, let me see if it's at, actually, if it's up on his website, I'll, I'll mention it. Let me check real quick. I need a hundred pin storage box. Yeah, we're gonna manage that really quickly here in the in the coming month. We are gonna make it happen. That's why, like sometimes maybe these are like member giveaways, right? Like I am stocked on member giveaways for like the next since months, six months. Do you mean turn right? No. If he has this one pin available on the site, did I spell that right? I did. Oh, thank you. Digital Medievalist is so much faster than me. Oh, sorry. Gosh, dog it. All right. Let's see. So, yeah, like the pin shapes don't have names, but the pin, what they are, has names. Let me see if he has the one I want to talk about. But he does like really wild colors, shapes, clip designs. He did this year's, uh, the last two years, Black Pin Society designs. <laughs> kind of a run with makers with the Z, I hear you. And one of these pins won the uh, that uh, award. I'm trying to see which one. If it's here, I'll show you. So yeah, if you're looking for something wild and unique and different, you definitely want to look at right turns. <clears throat> yeah, the clips are cool. So I'll, I'll just go ahead and say the, the pen that I'm interested in that's coming out soon is made from uh, surfboard fiberglass. So I will be looking for that very soon. Let me see if there I have an Instagram link here. Oh, this is the pin that won the uh the vote. That's the pin that that uh vote in the um in the Instagram live, this was the pin that won. It was his pin. It's really nice. Like, it's not for me, but it's really, really nice, right? His finishing touches are amazing. Yeah, he's a really detailed, interesting maker. I'm just looking real quick to see if he has this uh, Hang 10 model, is what it's going to be called. Yeah, it's just not... He said it wasn't... It's going to be coming up in the next month or two. I don't see it on here. But it's basically going to be a uh, surfboard... Uh, Surfboard fiberglass is what the barrel is going to be made of. So that should be cool. So I'm looking forward to that. Like I even made a note to like check that out. But yeah, great looking pen. Thank you, Jason. I bought this from him at the show. Really cool. All right. Where are we at? 1130. All right. We're making good time here, chat. <clears throat> All right. Where's this here? I bought my first Heinz pen. Bought this one for me. So I've had Heinz pens before. Um, I've reviewed Heinz pens. I've given away Heinz pens. I've done a lot of work with Heinz pens. I don't have my own personal Heinz pen, so I wanted to pick one out for me at the show. So I can finally say I have my own. Again, all of these makers and all of these colorful materials and finishes and all kinds of cool stuff, it's hard to pick. But I found one uh, that screamed at me um, on the table. So I got this one for me. So this one's definitely mine that I'm going to keep. So this is um, in the Mermaid series. It's just this really 
cool mint green brown caramel Heinz finial up top just a really neat material like this one I couldn't uh not what I expected yeah so like I try to get that's what I try to do if you can tell in these last two pins they're a lot more brown or green or purple this is a really good shape for me um long taper really cool material this one had a lot more green in it than some of the ones that i that i saw so i really like that and then it goes down into the section and then i got the matching nib for this one I have the brown nib yeah so i've gotten a little bit uh more of the darker style swirls than more of the rainbow style style swirls recently so yeah this one just came out really, really good. So what did I get in here? Fine. So yeah, this one's going to be inked up and used by me. So this one goes into the 100 for sure. <laughs> um, Cause I, I picked this out specifically for me to use, so. Very nice. What ink would you put in here? Like, would you use a brown ink? Would you use, this? I like this right here, how this kind of like really blends in right there. Would you use a brown ink, light green ink? I have the Shogun ink, gray ink. Like Shogun seems like a good chart. That'd be extra sparkly. It'd be sparkly pen and sparkly ink. Literally any color, right? Like I'm really, I'm really happy with this one. I mean, seeing as I picked it myself for me. Uh, is this 100 all talk? Definitely not. It's just uh, slow moving. It's a slow moving process. <laughs> is there a brown with green shimmer? Maybe. Sailor Ink Studio 160. I'll have to look at that. The 100 is not all talk, I promise you. It's just slow. Slow to get there. Oh, that's cool. I do like that. I don't have a color that, I don't have an ink that color. This is Heinz pens. <clears throat> so we'll see. This one's, this one's, I'm definitely keeping for myself. Yeah. I moved 16 pins. We're just getting started, chat. We're just getting started. But yeah, like not all of this stuff is mine, right? Some of it's um, giveaway stuff, blog review stuff. This one I, I bought with the intention of just keeping it for myself, like not using it, putting it in the box. I, Cause I don't, I don't own a Heinz pen, so. Yeah, take your time with the 100, no hurry. Well, it's starting to, we, we, we had to get through these pin shows and figure out what's, what's new um, coming home. So I'm not too worried about it. But I've definitely added like probably like four or five pins from this show and another four or five from Orlando. That's a, that's a huge percentage. So we got some work to do, that's for sure. All right, let's do a giveaway. Let's do a giveaway of the Esterbrook swag. I'm going to keep the small sheet because I want to play with that. But let's do an Esterbrook, uh, Esterbrook swag. Esterbrook swag. Laban Greek Mythology Poseidon. Let's see what this looks like. Now that I might have, I might have a color like that. So this is kind of a more tealy green. I might have something along those lines. All right, let's do a giveaway. So what we're going to do, we're going to do the, the Betty Soldi notebook, the full-sized blotter paper, which fits this notebook, and then we'll do the book, uh, the book holder. Brad, I got rid of 16 pins. Brad also came home with multiple new pins. You should see the one I haven't shown you yet. Are they for sale yet? I have no idea. 
Just wait till y'all see the pin that I haven't shown you yet. Y'all are gonna call me and call me names. Not good names, probably. All right. So we're giving away this Esther Brooks swag kit to y'all. I need more pin addicts at work so they know when to not schedule meetings. Yeah, so Anna had some uh, some vintage blotter paper to check out. I might have to look at that myself. All right. Yeah, you should enter this one. This is a this is a Inkwell Monster uh, type. Oh, and that would be great if both. Uh, both people in this room who write for the Pinac won raffles. I will get like audited by the bot corporation. I think some of the rest of the crew would. Uh... So you definitely need to enter this one because if you win this one, it would totally blow my cover as fully rigged. <laughs> All right. I guess I guess this when this gets done, I'm gonna show y'all the last the the surprise purchase of the show, aside from the pink Monte Grappa, which is just dope. And there's a story involved here, so. You have that notebook in another color as well as the book holder? Nice. How is the notebook? Do you like it? Maybe a Twitch mod would win? <laughs> The notebooks look good. They come in a bunch of different colors. Um, I think I saw like a tan, maybe a navy. I forget the, the colors the uh, the notebooks came in. All right, let's just slide this in here. Whew, apologies. I'm still tired, still recovering. I've been back for two days and I've, I've pickleballed too hard instead of letting myself rest. The notebook fort uh, is getting tall. Twisby Eco Cerulean looks great. That's a great color. I'm using my avocado appliance green Kaveco I won on stream today. Nice. Nice. Y'all are going to die when you see this next thing that I bought. This is why I shouldn't be allowed out of the house, chat. All right, y'all ready for this? All right, the winner. I have Sauron, not far off. Have you seen talking about the new stationary podcast? I'm going to guess no, because I don't even know what you're referring to, but please send it out to us. Was there a Lando show the whole weekend? Just Friday, Saturday. Chaos pin, not a chaos pin. That would have been, been great, though. <laughs> Words and Roses, Havoc Rose and those with words pocket. No, I had no idea. I am out of the loop. Let's see, Words and Roses, okay. Let me add it right now. Got it. Thank you. Awesome. Look forward to it. In the lineup. All right, let's pick a winner. Galen Leather, Kaveco Sports Sapphire coming in November. I will look at that. Oh, that's pretty. All right, where is my giveaway page? All right, pick a winner. Let's go. Evan Max Twitch. Is Evan Max Twitch a mod? Maybe a mod did win. Evan Max Twitch might be a mod. Evan Max Twitch is a mod. Rewizzles, <laughs> wrong mod. <laughs> Rewizzles is like, damn it. <laughs> wrong mod. <laughs> nice. Oh, chat, this is too much fun. Too much fun. 
too much fun. Evan, I hope you told the uh, shipping department, uh, gave them my review, and I hope they get a raise. I hope the shipping shipping department is bonus is dictated based on customer feedback. Um, so yeah, you got to email me too, Evan. All y'all got to email me. Went to Appalachian Paper to pick up uh, Portland Rain by Paper to met Kelly. Oh, Casey, uh, Kelly is awesome. Kelly rules. The shipping department was very pleased. It was hilarious. Because there was a note, right? So the note said, here's what's in the box and here's who it goes to. Then literally every item was individually wrapped and then had a uh, had like a Dymo printed sticker on it to mimic exactly what the sheet had already told me, which was, that's just like above and beyond five stars. So yes, very good, very good. All right, chat, buckle up. If there is any question on whether you should go to a pin show in person or not, the story I'm about to tell you is a huge, huge sign you should never go to a pin show. <laughs> Do not go to pin shows lest you end up like me. This is why you do not want to go. The only thing I can say about going to a pen show, you do not want to go to a pen show because you're going to end up like me one day and you're going to have this box of stuff over here. And people know you at pen shows when you show up repeatedly and you have friends at pen shows. And this story actually started Friday night in the bar at the pen show where my friend John Tello brought out a pen. And I really liked the pen, right? And like this pen wasn't anything I'd necessarily seen before, but he's like, this is my favorite pen I own. And it was fantastic. Like I loved it. I wasn't going out shopping for it, but I was like, it goes on the mental list, right? Of things, right? Things go on the list and maybe they happen tomorrow. Maybe they happen two years from now, but it's like, oh, I really like this. Wasn't really on my list. Know your mark incoming, get ready for a sale. So the pen show Don, in my case, is Jimmy Dolev. Um, Y'all may know Jimmy Dolev from literally every pen show you go to. I know him as the show promoter of the Atlanta pen show. So Jimmy and I go way back. And he's done a lot for me over the years. <clears throat> and I, he has some of like the best pens on in the, any show you go to. His collection that he brings literally drives to every show. Um, he brings them. He, he, he doesn't come to Colorado? Rip. He comes to a lot of shows. And he has a lot of cool stuff. So I was poking around the show. I saw this pen um, that John Tello had showed me. And uh, I had actually looked at it at a different table. a different The exact model that John had, I saw at a different table. Just picked it up, got to play with it. I was like, oh, yeah, it's nice. I wrote with John's. Oh, yeah, it's nice. It's great. And so I'm over at Jimmy's table, and he has this display. Super glue Bob, thank you. He has this display. And up on the table is this thing, right? It's not just like a pen display. It's like a pen piece of art. And I go up to it, and I was like, what is this? And it's a different style, a different finish of the pen John had showed me last night that I really liked. I was like, oh, this is like the same pen. Oh, God, it's really nice. This thing is ridiculous. So it comes in a box like this. Okay. So it was a Paniter. <sighs> so I'm messing around with this at Jimmy's table. And Jimmy walks up to me. And he leans over into my ear. 
He says, Brad, I'll make you a deal. When Jimmy says, Brad, I'll make you a deal on that one, you tend to listen. <laughs> Let me get the box out of the way. This is ridiculous. So that's the box it came in. <clears throat> so this is what was sitting on top of the table. I'd like to thank the Academy <laughs> for it's an honor to just be nominated. Um, I feel like I won the, the Orlando pin show this year. It's like an award. Um, it's unbelievable. So what this is, is the P Panider Armand, I believe is the name. I don't even know the name of the pin. Um, so I was messing around with this pin. I was just looking at the pin. I didn't. I don't care about this stuff, right? This, this obviously increased the price of the thing, but like I don't care about this. But I was, I was all into this pin because I had seen it the night before. Um, Jimmy sold this to me for less than cost, is why I ended up with it. I'm not insane enough to pay what this pin goes for. Like in reality, like if you look this up, it's stupid. Um, I paid very little for this pen relative to what it goes. I paid less than what these pens cost retailers to carry because Jimmy, why less than cost? Because that's how Jimmy does business. Jimmy is not your traditional pen retailer. Jimmy is not a retailer. Jimmy is a fun guy and he just... He is a mover and shaker, and he uh, basically did not want to carry this huge box back in his trunk. He's like, I'm not going home for a couple days. I don't want to throw this in my car. It just takes up too much room. I'll make you a deal. I now have this ridiculous... I have an awesome pen that I actually wanted, but with a display, I didn't really care about, <laughs> right? Um so the pen actually just pops out of here. So it's like a little, um, you just push it down and it sets in there and then you push it down and it comes out. So yeah, Jimmy is worse, worse at capitalism than me. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I mean, we're probably just going to have to sit it up here, right? It's ridiculous. But the pen... The pin is legit. The pin is actually something I wanted. I just didn't know it came with this case. So yeah, don't even look at the price of this online. Y'all put the link in the chat. You can go look and look at the price of it. I'm gonna go look at it right now. Yeah. Basically, you could lop the one off the front of that price. Okay. Just lop the one off of that price and you're going to be in the ballpark. So I got jimmied. I'm going to make you an offer you cannot refuse. And I couldn't refuse that deal. What are you going to do? I wanted the pen already. The pen was on my list. And then I got jimmied. So I came home with the space portal. <laughs> the pin itself, I was completely in. All right, so let's 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 check the pin out. Um, and Greg, Greg was there. He can validate my story. Um, I am. I. I mean, I don't have any reason to make stuff up like this anyway. So it's any. Um, it's an aluminum barrel. Kind of a fancy like Batman looking uh, looking thing. Uh, and yeah, I'm not gonna lie. This is not a deal that he would offer anybody, but he would offer that to me, I think, and to some other people, obviously. But like, it's not just randomly gonna happen. It's like, you like that pen, huh, Brad? It's like, oh, Jimmy. So, 
Oh, I haven't even uh, taken the uh, wrapping off of this yet. So that's just the protective. <laughs> this is more Batman than the Batman pin. So it's got the flex nib, Panander flex nib. I think it's a fine. I forget, but I'm pretty sure it's a fine, which is why I liked it. The blue one are much, yeah, so if you look at, so the one that I saw from John Tello was the demonstrator one. <laughs> Wasn't that it, all the hobbies? So if you go look at the demonstrator one, the demonstrator ones are much less than what this one retails for. Um, and you can see all the internals here of what this is. So that's what John Tello had was the clear, um, demonstrator model of this. This is what I had tested out the night before. This one is an aluminum barrel and it has like all the cutouts. The cap does have a liner up in the top, but not at the bottom here. So this part see through, then it has like the slip and seal type of cap here. The nib is also black. It's just the way the lighting hit it, hits it. It is like a black plating. plating. Magnetic cap, yep. So it just kind of pops on there. Okay. And then the uh, ink window. Um, I don't know how to open this or if you do open it. So I got to mess around with the filling system and see, but it's like this converter filling system. Y'all probably can't see me moving it down. So there comes the piston all the way down. We'll get it back up. You'll have to let me know if yours dries out quick. My honeycomb pins dries out faster than I like. Yeah, I'll be interested. Like I don't know that the um, like the magnet's not like airtight, but it does have like the cap up in the top of the thing. So yeah, like I haven't inked it up. This is what the uh, the party. Uh, the party in the party in the rear ink is going to go into. So I just got to figure out how I'm going to fill it, right? I don't know if this unscrews or whatever, if it's just like a straight up piston. It looks like it's just a, like the other ones I think are converters, but I think this is just a piston, right? And then it has like a lock. Like I got to read about this thing. So this, this um, converter piston thing is, I don't know called the magic converter or something like that i don't even know the whole details of it so yeah um the nib is gold but i can't remember what size Fourteen k just says quill nib i'm guessing it's fine i don't know it's a capture converter. So can I take this apart? Can I like unscrew it? I don't want to break it. I haven't even inked it. Filling instructions are only distributed on a need to know basis. Yeah. So it's pretty heavy. And then it's got a, like a flexi bouncy nib on here. So we'll see. No, it doesn't come apart. Gotcha. So yeah, I'm looking forward to filling this up. It's very cool. Extra $400 for filling instructions. Yeah. So yeah, I'll be inking this up at some point. Maybe today. But this was my, uh, this is number nine of 88, I believe. So yes, that's how they get you chat that is how they get you so i'm pretty happy to be got with this one or else i wouldn't have bought it but that's what happens at pen shows chat sometimes you get got but this is a pretty good got i'm happy with it put it on the mantle um so the box is ridiculous. I think there's a tray in here. I, I, I hadn't even had time to look at this. Tribute to Armand. So it's a very like, oh, I should change this. 
MoMA modern art thing. So it's this whole deal that comes in. It was just covered in that. The destructions. But there's a little tray in here. I don't know what's in this tray. I'm about to find out. Oh, I think the pin like originally shipped in the tray before they put it in the display thing. I think that's all, all it was. Redonkulous chat. So, yay. Like, I really don't care anything about this. Um, okay, it is a fine nib. I don't care anything about the, the thing, except now it's a story. It looks like a Pirelli. Looks like a, it looks like I won qualifying, uh, and it's the Pirelli thing. 09 of 88. So, there you go. I thought you did not like Paniter pins. I do not own a Paniter pin. Uh, some of the original ones I tried, I did not care for. Some of the more recent ones I've tried, I've started to come around and uh, have been wanting to try them. So, yeah. <sighs> chat that's what we did that's how we got in trouble this is how we got in trouble uh yeah we'll see if i like this one if not i can sell it <laughs> without issue but i think the i think the nibs um needed to be tweaked when they first came out a few years ago and i think now they're just getting better and better from what i've read from from people so I don't like the smooth metal section of Paniter pins. Yeah, that's never been an issue for me with the Lamy Studios or any metal section pins. You yeah, ever remember, I used to not like fountain pens. So, there you go, chat. That's how I got jimmied at the Orlando Pen Show. I'm gonna have to take that down. It's already driving me crazy seeing the shadow back there. That, that, that is not going to live there, I promise you. Even though it's ridiculous and it belongs up there, it's, I already have a mess going on up here anyway. <laughs> so there you go. That is a uh, that is a reason you should consider whether you go to a pen, <laughs> a pen show or not. New merch idea. I got jimmied at the Orlando Pen Show. Yep. It is getting UF, UHF reception. That is true. So we'll see. We'll see how I like it. Um, I'm hoping I like it because it's a really sweet pen. We'll see if it's for me, right? It seems unlikely that any of us would have that kind of offer. Yes, that is absolutely correct, Glyph. It is one of those long-term friendship deals, right? So right place, right time, right person on both ends of the, of the spectrum. Uh, completely agree. Is the Paniter portal where all our money goes? Now we need a we need a Paniter portal emote, right? Thus making attending pen shows safer. Yes, safer for all those involved. I've got Jimmy at a quarter of the pen shows I've been to. Yeah, for sure. So we need to think about the Jimmy March money portal emote. Maybe that's a maybe that's a um, maybe that's an animated one where the money flies through the portal. I got Jimmy with the green gold glittery LE sailor and its own little Arushi pin sleeve. Nice. Yep. That he does it. A lot of us have been jimmied. A lot of us have been jimmied. So yeah, I need to uh You'll have to introduce me to this guy at the next West Coast show. Yeah, he was in uh he was at SF. So well the well the main consideration here is we'll have to see how I how I um how I like the bouncy nib, which with this size, it feels pretty good so far. So we'll see. We'll see. All right. I think we're going to wrap it here, chat. Is anyone streaming? Anyone streaming? We need to go uh, go see. The Burbs is streaming. Oh, who? oh Plotter. Plotter stream. All right. We're doing this. All right. How is this guy in business if he jimmies everyone? Because he runs, he Jimmy's done okay. 
in his real life career. We'll say that. Jimmy's doing just fine to offer Jimmy's to uh, other people. Don't sweat the Jimmy. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. <clears throat> We're going to say... Go watch some plotter set up over on the art channel from Zaquile. Zaquile? Apologize if I said that wrong. <laughs> we'll be back. Hey, tomorrow, no podcast. So maybe I'll be on at 10 tomorrow. I'll tweet at 10 o'clock tomorrow, I think. Um, my episode with CY will be out tomorrow. So yeah. <clears throat> um, that you are not far off, pieces of starlight. <laughs> you are not far off. All right. Y'all have a good day. I'm going to go ink up the, the, the portal pen. See ya.